This 100 question G1 practice test with only questions about rules of the road. There are 100 multiple choice questions with 4 answers. Each question is based on the official Ontario Driver S manual. Question 1. If you are a teenage driver with your G2 license for 6 plus months, and until you obtain your full G license or turn 20, how many passengers are you allowed to carry between midnight and 5 a.m.? A. 2 passengers aged 19 or under. B. 3 passengers aged 19 or under, no restrictions for passengers the age of 20 and over. C. No passengers aged 19 or under. D. 1 passenger aged 19 or under. Questions 1 Answer B. 3 passengers aged 19 or under, no restrictions for passengers the age of 20 and over. Question 2. If you are convicted of careless driving, you will get 6 demerit points and can get A. A jail sentence of up to 6 months. B. Your license suspended for up to 2 years. C. A fine of up to $2,000. D. All of the above. Questions 2 Answer D. All of the above. Question 3. When approaching a sign that reads merging traffic, you must A. Honk your horn first before proceeding. B. Let the cars behind you go first. C. Adjust your speed and position to avoid a collision with other vehicles. D. Stop your vehicle before proceeding. Questions 3 Answer C. Adjust your speed and position to avoid a collision with other vehicles. Question 4. When driving on a street designed for two-way traffic, you hear the siren of an emergency vehicle. What does the law require you to do? A. Speed up and get out of the way. B. Signal the driver to pass. C. Continue at the same speed. D. Pull to the right as far as possible and stop. Questions for answer D. Pull to the right as far as possible and stop. Question 5. How soon after a licensed driver changes his her name or address is he or she required to notify the Ministry of Transportation and Communications. A. At any time prior to renewal of license. B. Within 30 days. C. Within 6 days. D. Within 15 days. Questions 5 Answer C. Within 6 days. Question 6. If you receive a call while driving and you do not have a passenger who can take the call, you should A. Pull your vehicle over and park to use your cell phone. B. Let the call go to voicemail. C. Use a hands-free system. D. Do any of the above. Question 6 Answer D. Do any of the above. Question 7. When approaching an intersection where a traffic signal light is red and a police officer motions you to go through, you should A. Call the police officer's attention to the red light. B. Wait for the light to turn green. C. Obey the police officer's signal and go through at once. D. Stop to make sure us, he wants you to go through. Question 7 Answer C. Obey the police officer's signal and go through at once. Question 8. Drivers who don't follow the stopping requirements at a school crossing may receive A. A substantial fine and 3 demerit points. B. A substantial fine and 1 demerit point. C. 1 year of jail time and 6 demerit points. 
D. A fine of $400 to $2,000 and 60 merit points. Questions 8 Answer A. A substantial fine and 3 demerit points. Question 9. If you are approaching an intersection and the traffic lights are not working, you should A. Slow down and proceed with caution. B. Yield to the traffic to your right. C. Treat it as a four-way stop sign. D. Stop until no cars are passing and then go. Questions 9 Answer C. Treat it as a four-way stop sign. Question 10. If the signal light changes from green to amber as you approach an intersection, what should you do? A. Stop. If a stop cannot be made safely, proceed with caution. B. Speed up to clear the intersection as quickly as possible. C. Sound your horn to warn pedestrians and other drivers that you do not intend to stop. D. Continue through the intersection without slowing or stopping. Questions 10 Answer A. Stop. If a stop cannot be made safely, proceed with caution. Question 11. When you are in a roundabout. A. You may pass large vehicles and change lanes. B. Keep to the right of this center island and drive in a counterclockwise direction until you reach your exit. C. You may stop for any reason. D. Do not do any of the above. Questions 11 Answer B. Keep to the right of this center island and drive in a counterclockwise direction until you reach your exit. Question 12. When 15 or more demerit points have accumulated on a record, the driver's license is suspended. A. Only if the license is not used for business purposes. B. For three months. C. At the discretion of the ministry. D. Automatically, and for 30 days from receipt of the license by the MTO. Questions 12 Answer D. Automatically, and for 30 days from receipt of the license by the MTO. Question 13. Upon approaching a yield sign, what does the law require you to do? A. Stop, then enter traffic quickly. B. Speed up and force your way into traffic. C. Stop, then enter traffic slowly. D. Slow down, stop if necessary, and yield the right of way. Questions 13 Answer D. Slow down, stop if necessary, and yield the right of way. Question 14. If you are driving and suddenly one of your tires blows out, you should A. Take your foot off the gas pedal to slow down. B. Bring the vehicle to a stop off the road. C. Concentrate on steering. D. All of the above. Questions 14. Answer D. All of the above. Question 15. New drivers caught drinking and driving will receive underscore for the first occurrence. A. An immediate driver's license suspension at the roadside for 24 hours. B. A fine of up to $500 if convicted. C. A suspension for 30 days if convicted. D. All of the above. Questions 15 Answer D. All of the above. Question 16. A flashing green light at an intersection, where turns to the left and right are permitted, indicates. A. You may proceed straight through if the way is clear. B. You may turn to the left if the way is clear. C. You may turn to the right if the way is clear. D. All of the above.
Question 16 Answer D. All of the above. Question 17 Under what circumstances may a driver's license be cancelled? A. For failure to satisfactorily complete a driver re examination. B. For failure to attend a re examination. C. For possession of an altered driver's license. D. Any or all of the above. Question 17 Answer D. Any or all of the above. Question 18. When passing a cyclist, leave at least underscore distance between your vehicle and the cyclist. A. 0.5 meter. B. 1 foot. C. 1 meter. D. There is no minimum distance. Questions 18. Answer C. 1 meter. Question 19. If you are involved in an accident in which someone is injured, you must A. Report the accident at once to the nearest provincial or municipal police officer. B. Report the accident within 48 hours to the nearest provincial or municipal police officer. C. Report the accident to your insurance company only. D. Report the accident to the Ministry of Transportation and Communications only. Questions 19 Answer A. Report the accident at once to the nearest provincial or municipal police officer. Question 20. When lights are required, drivers must use low beam headlights. A. Within 1 km of an oncoming vehicle. B. Within 300 meters of an oncoming vehicle. C. Within 150 meters of an oncoming vehicle. D. At their discretion. This is a safety practice, not a law. Questions 20 Answer C. Within 150 meters of an oncoming vehicle. Question 21. When passing a cyclist, failing to leave a minimum 1 meter between you and the cyclist may result in a fine and underscore demerit points on your driver's record. A. 3. B. No points will be added. C. 1. D. 2. Questions 21 Answer D. 2. Question 22. In order to get your vehicle out of a skid, you should A. Apply the brakes hard. B. Steer straight ahead. C. Steer in the direction you want to go. D. Steer in the opposite direction of the skid. Questions 22 Answer C. Steer in the direction you want to go. Question 23 Failing to stop for a school bus that is unloading passengers will A. Result in having to retake your road test. B. Cost you 60 merit points and a maximum fine of up to $2,000. C. Result in a one year jail sentence. D. Get you a warning and a fine of $100. Questions 23 Answer B. Cost you 60 merit points and a maximum fine of up to $2,000. Question 24. Which of the following penalties can the court impose on a person convicted of driving 50 km per hour or more over the speed limit? A. Jail term of up to 6 months. B. $2,000 to $10,000 fine. C. License suspension up to 2 years or 6 demerit points. D. All of the above. Questions 24 Answer D. All of the above. Question 25. When it is safe to do so, 
passing other vehicles on the right side. A. Is permitted when the street or highway has two or more lanes for traffic in the direction you are traveling. B. Is permitted on any street or highway. C. Is permitted, provided it is possible to do so by driving on the shoulder of the road. D. Is not permitted under any circumstances. Questions 25 Answer A. Is permitted when the street or highway has two or more lanes for traffic in the direction you are traveling. Question 26. On a roadway where traffic is moving in both directions, in what position must you be before making a left turn? A. Does not matter, provided you signal. B. To the right of and as close to the center line of the roadway as possible. C. Close to the left-hand side of the roadway. D. Close to the right-hand side of the roadway. Questions 26 Answer B. To the right of and as close to the center line of the roadway as possible. Question 27 When are broken white lines, dashes, used on streets and highways? A. To mark a no parking zone. B. On a one-way street or highway that has more than one lane of traffic moving in the same direction. C. To separate traffic going in the opposite directions. D. To mark a no-stopping zone. Questions 27 Answer B. On a one-way street or highway that has more than one lane of traffic moving in the same direction. Question 28. When approaching a construction area, drivers should A. Honk the horn a few times to let the workers know you are approaching. B. Speed up to get out of the area quickly. C. Slow down and yield the right of way if necessary. D. Watch for children. Questions 28 Answer C. Slow down and yield the right of way if necessary. Question 29. If you come up on several snow plows clearing a freeway, you should not A. Wait for the plows to allow traffic to safely pass. B. Try to pass between them. C. Keep a safe distance. D. Do any of the above. Questions 29. Answer B. Try to pass between them. Question 30. When the driver of another vehicle is about to overtake and pass your vehicle, you must A. Move to the right and allow such vehicle to pass. B. Speed up so that passing is not necessary. C. Move to the left to prevent passing. D. Signal the other driver not to pass. Questions 30. Answer A. Move to the right and allow such vehicle to pass. Question 31. If a police officer signals you to pull over and you do not obey, you might. A. Have your license suspended. B. Pay up to a $25,000 fine. C. Serve time in prison. D. Any or all of the above. Questions 31 Answer D. Any or all of the above. Question 32. When the right turn against the red signal light is permitted, what does the law require you to do before entering the intersection and making the turn? A. Stop, then edge into traffic. B. Stop, signal, and make the turn so as not to interfere with other traffic including pedestrians. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. D. Slow down, signal, and turn. Questions 32 Answer B. Stop, signal, and make the turn so as not to interfere with other traffic, including pedestrians. Question 33. Which item are you prohibited from using while driving? A. Handheld cell phone. 
B. Laptop computer. C. DVD player. D. All of the above. Questions 33 Answer D. All of the above. Question 34. If you become very tired while driving, you should A. Open your windows to allow fresh air in the car. B. Drive faster to your destination. C. Drink coffee. D. Stop undressed. Questions 34 Answer D. Stop undressed. Question 35. A novice driver convicted of distracted driving is subject to underscore for a third occurrence. A. A fine of up to $1,000 and 3 demerit points. B. A fine of up to $2,000. C. License cancellation and removal from the graduated licensing system. D. None of the above. Questions 35 Answer C. License cancellation and removal from the graduated licensing system. Question 36. What documents may a police officer require a motor vehicle owner to produce? A. The motor vehicle ownership document. B. If the motor vehicle is insured, a liability insurance card. C. If S. He is operating a motor vehicle, a valid driver's license. D. Any of the above. Questions 36 Answer D. Any of the above. Question 37. Are drivers responsible for requiring their passengers to buckle up? A. Only if passengers are over 18 years of age. B. Only if passengers are over 16 years of age. C. Only if passengers are under 16 years of age. D. Only if passengers are in the front seat. Questions 37 Answer C. Only if passengers are under 16 years of age. Question 38. When approaching an intersection, you notice the roadway beyond the intersection is blocked with traffic. In this situation, you should A. Keep as close as possible to the car ahead. B. Stop before entering the intersection and wait until traffic ahead moves on. C. Proceed slowly into the intersection until traffic ahead moves on. D. Sound the horn to warn cars ahead to move on. Questions 38 Answer B. Stop before entering the intersection and wait until traffic ahead moves on. Question 39. Never change lanes in traffic without A. Blowing your horn and looking to the rear. B. Giving proper signal and looking to make sure the move can be made safely. C. Decreasing speed and giving the correct signal. D. Looking into the rearview mirror only. Questions 39 Answer B. Giving proper signal and looking to make sure the move can be made safely. Question 40. The two-second rule is used to determine A. How fast you are traveling. B. If you are following at a safe distance. C. How much gas you will save. D. How fast you can react to obstacles. Questions 40 Answer B. If you are following at a safe distance. Question 41. When lights are required, drivers must switch from high beam lights to low beams when following another vehicle. A. Within 30 meters, 100 feet. B. Within 120 meters, 400 feet. C. Within 60 meters, 200 feet. D. This only applies when approaching another vehicle. 
Questions 41 Answer C. Within 60 meters, 200 feet. Question 42 When the traffic signal light facing you is red and you intend to go straight through the intersection, what must you do? A. Stop, then proceed only when the signal turns green and when the way is clear. B. Stop, then proceed when the way is clear. C. Stop, give pedestrians the right of way, then proceed with caution. D. Slow down, then proceed when the way is clear. Questions 42 Answer A. Stop, then proceed only when the signal turns green and when the way is clear. Question 43. If you are a driver aged 19 or under and within the first six months of receiving your G2 license, how many passengers are you allowed to carry between midnight and 5 a.m.? A. Three passengers aged 19 or under. B. No passengers aged 19 or under. C. One passenger aged 19 or under, no restrictions for passengers 20 and over. D. Two passengers aged 19 or under. Questions 43 Answer C. One passenger aged 19 or under, no restrictions for passengers 20 and over. Question 44. When driving in heavy fog, you should use A. Low beam headlights B. Parking lights and high beam headlights C. Parking lights D. High beam headlights Questions 44 Answer A. Low beam headlights Question 45 Overdriving your headlights, when the vehicle in front of you is within your headlights range, at night is dangerous because A. It is not good for the car battery B. You are driving too fast C. Your headlights are too bright D. You cannot stop within the distance that you can see Questions 45 Answer D you cannot stop within the distance that you can see. Question 46. At an intersection where there is a flashing amber, yellow, traffic light, you must A. Stop if making a right turn. B. Stop if making a left turn. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. D. Continue at the same speed. Questions 46 Answer C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Question 47 Using a cellular phone while driving. A. Should be avoided, but is okay. B. Is a good way to multitask. C. Is quite acceptable. D. Increases the risk of collision. Questions 47 Answer D. Increases the risk of collision. Question 48. As a level 2, G2, driver, your blood alcohol level must not be over. A. 0.05%. B. 0.08%. C. 0.00%. D. 0.02% Questions 48 Answer C 0.00% Question 49 Which of the following has the right of way over all others at an intersection when the signal light is green? A. Pedestrians crossing against the light B. Vehicles turning left. C. Vehicles turning right. D. Pedestrians crossing with the light. Questions 49 Answer D. Pedestrians crossing with the light. 
Question 50, unless otherwise posted, the maximum speed limit allowed in cities, town, villages, and built-up areas is A. 30 km per hour B. 60 km per hour C. 50 km per hour D. 40 km per hour Questions 50 Answer C. 50 km per hour Question 51 A no parking sign at a certain location means A. You may not park your vehicle here B. You may stop here if the driver remains in the vehicle C. You may stop temporarily for the period up to 7 hours if you're an expectant mother D. You may park your vehicle for less than 60 minutes. Questions 51 Answer A. You may not park your vehicle here. Question 52. While traveling on a highway, the driver of a motor vehicle is not permitted to carry underscore in a house or boat trailer. A. Firearms. B. Bats. C. Flammable material. D. Persons. Passengers. Questions 52. Answer D. Persons. Passengers. Question 53. On a highway, when may you drive at the maximum speed limit? A. On any highway designed for one-way traffic. B. Only in the daytime. C. If the condition of traffic and the highway permit such a speed to be driven safely. D. At any time. Questions 53 Answer C. If the condition of traffic and the highway permit such a speed to be driven safely. Question 54. The use of alcohol or drugs affects the driver by impairing. A. Reaction time. B. Judgment. C. Vision. D. All of the above. Questions 54 Answer D. All of the above. Question 55 As a level 1, G1, driver, you must be accompanied by a class G or higher licensed driver, who has driving experience of more than A. 4 years B. 6 years C. 3 years D. 8 years Questions 55 Answer A. 4 years Question 56. If a fully licensed or hybrid driver is convicted of distracted driving, S, he faces A. A fine of up to $1,000 in 3-day merit points. B. A 30-day license suspension. C. A fine of up to $500 and 2-day merit points. D. None of the above. Questions 56 Answer A. A fine of up to $1,000 and 3-day merit points. Question 57. If you want to pass a motorcycle, you should. A. Turn on your high beam lights before you pass. B. Honk your horn before you pass. C. Use half of their lane to pass. D. Pass just as you would with another car. Questions 57 Answer D. Pass just as you would with another car. Question 58. If someone is tailgating you, what should you do? A. Pull over to let the tailgater pass. B. Move into another lane when it is safe to do so. C. Slow down slightly to increase the space in front of your car. D. Any of the above. Questions 58 Answer D. Any of the above.
Question 59. You are driving up to an intersection where there is no signal light or police officer. A pedestrian is in the crosswalk on your side of the street. You should A. Slow down and drive with increased caution. B. Sound the horn to warn the pedestrian. C. Stop and yield the right of way to the pedestrian. D. Increase your speed and take the right of way. Questions 59 Answer C. Stop and yield the right of way to the pedestrian. Question 60. Which of the following classes of vehicles may carry a red light visible from the front? A. Commercial motor vehicles. B. Emergency vehicles responding to a call. C. Bicycles. D. Pleasure type motor vehicles. Question 60 Answer B. Emergency vehicles responding to a call. Question 61 When does the law require the headlights on vehicles to be turned on? A. Between half an hour before sunset to half an hour after sunrise and at any other time you cannot see clearly for a distance of 150 meters, 500 feet. B. No specified time. C. Between dusk and dawn or at any other time you cannot see clearly for a distance of 150 meters, 500 feet. D. Between sunset and sunrise. Question 61 Answer A. Between half an hour before sunset to half an hour after sunrise and at any other time you cannot see clearly for a distance of 150 meters, 500 feet. Question 62. A class G1, G2, M1, or M2 driver may be required to attend an interview to discuss his, her record and give reasons why their license should not be suspended. A. When 3D merit points have been accumulated. B. When 6D merit points have been accumulated. C. When 9D merit points have been accumulated. D. When 15 demerit points have been accumulated. Question 62 Answer B. When 6 demerit points have been accumulated. Question 63 When a red signal light with a green arrow is shown at an intersection, it means A. Stop and wait for the green light before making a turn in the direction of the arrow. B. Stop and then proceed. C. Proceed immediately in the direction of the arrow if you are in the correct lane. D. The green arrow is a signal for pedestrians only. Question 63 Answer C. Proceed immediately in the direction of the arrow if you are in the correct lane. Question 64. In a vehicle with manual transmission, when descending a steep hill, a good safe driving practice is to A. Disengage the clutch and coast. B. Turn off the ignition. C. Place the gear shift in neutral. D. Gear down and allow the engine to assist in braking. Question 64 Answer D. Gear down and allow the engine to assist in braking. Question 65. Which of the following statements is not true? A. Whenever possible, change lanes to pass a cyclist. B. Leave at least one meter distance when passing a cyclist. C. Do not follow too closely behind cyclists. D. Cyclists are prohibited from using a left-hand lane when turning left. Question 65 Answer D. Cyclists are prohibited from using a left-hand lane when turning left. Question 66. When changing lanes on a multi-lane highway, a driver should A. Move in the direction he or she wants to go as fast as possible. B. Honk at other drivers. C. Check mirrors and signal before moving left or right. 
D. Activate the emergency signals. Question 66 Answer C. Check mirrors and signal before moving left or right. Question 67 A person whose driver's license is under suspension may A. Operate a motor vehicle when accompanied by a licensed driver. B. Not operate a motor vehicle under any conditions. C. Operate a motor vehicle to and from work. D. Operate a motor vehicle in a case of an emergency. Question 67 Answer B. Not operate a motor vehicle under any conditions. Question 68 A school bus with red signal lights flashing is stopped ahead of you. What does the law require you to do when meeting or overtaking the bus? A. Reduce speed and pass with care. B. Wait for approaching vehicles to pass. C. Stop until the bus proceeds or the signal lights are no longer flashing. D. It does not matter, provided you sound your horn. Question 68 Answer C. Stop until the bus proceeds or the signal lights are no longer flashing. Question 69. What must you do when the driver of another vehicle gives a signal that he wants to overtake and pass your vehicle? A. Speed up to make the other driver increase speed. B. Signal the other driver to remain behind you. C. Give way to the right and do not increase your speed until the overtaking vehicle has passed your vehicle. D. Move to the left and block the overtaking vehicle. Question 69 Answer C. Give way to the right and do not increase your speed until the overtaking vehicle has passed your vehicle. Question 70. Before moving your car from a park position, you should A. Check other traffic, signal, and pull from the curb when it is safe to do so. B. Honk your horn and pull from the curb slowly. C. Signal and pull from the curb. D. Check other traffic, signal, and pull from the curb quickly. Question 70 Answer A. Check other traffic, signal, and pull from the curb when it is safe to do so. Question 71. Should your right wheels drop off the roadway, what is the best way to get back on the roadway? A. Steer hard to the left. B. Take your foot off the gas pedal, and steer back onto the road when the vehicle has slowed. C. Apply brakes to reduce speed. D. Apply brakes and steer hard to the left. Question 71 Answer B. Take your foot off the gas pedal, and steer back onto the road when the vehicle has slowed. Question 72. When a streetcar is stopped to take on or discharge passengers where there is no safety zone, what does the law require you to do before passing the streetcar? A. Pass on the left side when the way is clear. B. Stop behind the rear of the streetcar and then proceed. C. Stop 2 meters, 6 feet, behind the rearmost door where passengers are getting on or off, and proceed only when it is safe to do so. D. Sound your horn and pass with caution. Question 72 Answer C. Stop 2 meters, 6 feet, behind the rearmost door where passengers are getting on or off, and proceed only when it is safe to do so. Question 73 You are driving on a wet road and have to make a stop quickly. The best way to do this if your vehicle does not have ABS is to A. Press down on the brake pedal, release slightly if the wheels are locking up, and reapply. B. Turn off the ignition and apply the handbrake. C. Roll down the window and signal. D. Pump the brakes. Question 73 Answer A. Press down on the brake pedal, release slightly if the wheels are locking up, and reapply.
Question 74. When approaching a railway crossing at which an electrical or mechanical signal device is warning of the approach of a train, you must A. Slow down and proceed with caution. B. Increase your speed and cross the tracks as quickly as possible. C. Stop not less than 5 meters, 15 feet, from the nearest trail. D. Stop not less than 1.5 meters, 5 feet, from the nearest trail. Question 74 Answer C. Stop not less than 5 meters, 15 feet, from the nearest trail. Question 75. The Ministry of Transportation may suspend a license after a 9 demerit point interview for a fully licensed driver. A. If a driver does not have at least 5 years driving experience. B. The Ministry is not permitted to suspend a license before the 15 point level is reached. C. If a driver fails to give satisfactory reasons why their license should not be suspended. D. If the license is not needed for business reasons. Question 75 Answer C. If a driver fails to give satisfactory reasons why their license should not be suspended. Question 76 Under which of the following conditions is it dangerous and unlawful to make a U turn? A. Within 150 meters, 500 feet, of a bridge, viaduct, or tunnel if the driver's view is obstructed. B. On a railway crossing or within 30 meters, 100 feet, of a railway crossing. C. In a curve or on a hill, where there is a clear view of less than 150 meters, 500 feet, in either direction. D. Under all of the above conditions. Question 76 Answer D. Under all of the above conditions. Question 77. Snow removal vehicles on public roadways are equipped with flashing underscore lights. A. Orange. B. Red. C. Yellow. D. Blue. Question 77. Answer D. Blue. Question 78. All vehicles must be insured for third-party liability for at least A. $250,000 B. $1 million C. $400,000 D. $200,000 Question 78 Answer D. $200,000 Question 79. When may you lend your driver's license to other drivers? A. Never. B. For identification purposes only. C. When another person is learning to drive. D. In emergencies. Question 79. Answer A. Never. Question 80. Upon approaching a stop sign, a driver must A. Slow down, and if the way is clear, proceed. B. Stop, sound the horn, then proceed. C. Slow down, sound the horn, and then proceed. D. Stop, and when it is safe to do so, proceed. Questions 80. Answer D. Stop and when it is safe to do so, proceed. Question 81. When getting out of your car on a busy street, you should open your door. A. At any time. B. After making the proper signals. C. When you are sure that it can be done safely. D. When you turn on your four-way flashers. Questions 81 Answer C. When you are sure that it can be done safely. 
Question 82. At night, should you meet another vehicle with blinding bright lights, the safest thing to do is A. Turn your lights on high beam. B. Look at the headlights of the approaching vehicle. C. Look slightly to the right-hand side. D. Open and shut your eyes rapidly. Questions 82 Answer C. Look slightly to the right-hand side. Question 83 If your brakes fail. A. Apply the parking brake gently but firmly. B. Turn on emergency flashers. C. Pump the brake pedal. D. Do all of the above. Questions 83 Answer D. Do all of the above. Question 84. If you are convicted for the first time of driving while your license is suspended, you will get an additional six months suspension, and you will also face which of the following other penalties? A. Six months in gaol. B. Neither jail time nor a fine. C. A fine of between $1,000 and $5,000. D. Either jail time or a fine or both. Questions 84 Answer D. Either jail time or a fine or both. Question 85. You must report an accident to the police if A. The damage to property is over $2,000. B. Someone has been hurt or killed. C. The damage to vehicles is over $2,000. D. Any of the above. Questions 85 Answer D. Any of the above. Question 86. Choose the correct statement from the following. A. Parking lights can be used at any time. B. Parking lights can be used when driving in heavy fog. C. Parking lights can be used when driving on a well-lit street. D. Parking lights should be used for parking only. Questions 86 Answer D. Parking lights should be used for parking only. Question 87. There are two lines in the center of the road to divide traffic. One is a solid line, the other is a broken line. The line closest to oncoming traffic is broken, but the line on your side of the road is solid. What does the solid line mean? A. It is safe to overtake and pass. B. Pass only when no traffic is in sight. C. It is unsafe to overtake and pass. D. Pass at any time. Questions 87 Answer C. It is unsafe to overtake and pass. Question 88. Level 1 Drivers. G1 must keep their blood alcohol level at 0% and be accompanied by a class G driver with a blood alcohol level of less than underscore if the class G driver is 22 or old or A 0.08% B 0.03% C 0.00% D 0.05% Questions 88 Answer D. 0.05% Question 89. You are required to keep a safe distance behind the vehicle in front of you. You should keep at least a underscore space between your vehicle and the one ahead. A. 6 second. B. 2 second. C. 7 second. D. 5 second. Questions 89 Answer B. 2 second. Question 90. 
Hydroplaning occurs during heavy rain when a vehicle's tires ride up above the water on the roadway. To help prevent hydroplaning, you should A. Reduce vehicle speed when driving in the rain. B. Ensure that the tires on your vehicle have good tread depth. C. Ensure that the tires on your vehicle are inflated to the proper tire pressure. D. All of the above. Questions 90 Answer D. All of the above. Question 91. How close to a fire hydrant may you legally park? A. Not closer than 3 meters, 10 feet. B. Not closer than 20 meters, 65 feet. C. Not closer than 4 5 meters, 15 feet. D. Not closer than 15 meters, 50 feet. Questions 91 Answer A. Not closer than 3 meters, 10 feet. Question 92. You are approaching the intersection with a flashing red light. You must A. Change lanes. B. Proceed with caution. C. Come to a complete stop and proceed only when it's safe. D. Make a U-turn. Questions 92 Answer C. Come to a complete stop and proceed only when it's safe. Question 93. If you miss an expressway exit, what should you do? A. Make a U-turn. B. Stop on the shoulder and check your map. C. If there are no cars, you may back up. D. Continue straight and exit at the next ramp. Questions 93 Answer D. Continue straight and exit at the next ramp. Question 94. When a streetcar is stopped to pick up or discharge passengers and there is a safety island, what does the law require you to do? A. Pass on the left side of the streetcar. B. Pass with caution and be ready to stop if a pedestrian makes sudden or unexpected moves. C. Stop at least 2 meters behind the safety island. D. Sound your horn and pass with caution. Questions 94 Answer B. Pass with caution and be ready to stop if a pedestrian makes sudden or unexpected moves. Question 95. Why is it necessary to look over your shoulder when changing lanes? A. It is a good exercise for your neck. B. There will always be a blind spot in your mirrors, no matter how you adjust them. C. It will help you see who is driving. D. All of the above. Questions 95 Answer B. There will always be a blind spot in your mirrors, no matter how you adjust them. Question 96. Before leaving your car parked on the right side of the street facing a downgrade, you should A. Leave your front wheels parallel to the curb. B. Set your parking brake only. C. Turn your front wheels to the left or and set your parking brake. D. Turn your front wheels to the right and set your parking brake. Questions 96 Answer D. Turn your front wheels to the right and set your parking brake. Question 97. If two drivers enter an uncontrolled intersection from opposite directions at the same time, one going straight while the other is turning left, which vehicle has the right of way? A. The one going straight has the right of way. B. The one turning left has the right of way. C. Both have the right of way. D. Both cars should stop first and then proceed. Questions 97 Answer A. The one going straight has the right of way. Question 98. As a level 1 or 2 driver, 
If you collect nine or more points during a two-year period, your license will be suspended for A. 60 days B. 1 year C. 30 days D. 15 days Questions 98 Answer A. 60 days Question 99. Examples of hands-free devices include A. A cell phone with an earpiece or headset using voice dialing, or plugged into the vehicle's sound system, when equipped. B. A global positioning system, GPS, device that is properly secured to the dashboard or another accessible place in the vehicle. C. A portable audio player, that is MP3 player that has been plugged into the vehicle's sound system with the preset playlist. D. All of the above. Questions 99 Answer D. All of the above. Question 100. It is more dangerous to drive at the maximum speed limit at night than during daytime because A. Some drivers unlawfully drive with parking lights only. B. The roads are slippery at night. C. You cannot see as far ahead at night. D. Your reaction time is four times slower at night. Questions 100 Answer C. You cannot see as far ahead at night. 